Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, we saw a good amount of sunshine across the area earlier today with a little more cloud cover coming off of Lake Superior across the northern half of our viewing area. You can see some of that cloud cover as we look towards the south and west in Sturgeon Bay, 28 degrees. We'll call it mostly cloudy right overhead. And now switching the view, looking towards the west in Appleton, a great sunset. But it is awfully cold across the area, 25 right now in Appleton. And as we look uh, towards Mantuac now, 27 degrees. Feels like the teens right now with west and northwest winds. Still breezy, 12 miles an hour. Look for some clearing skies here later on tonight. We'll probably go fully clear after midnight into early Friday morning. That combined with some lighter winds allows those temperatures to really drop off quickly. Some of us could be in the single digits by early tomorrow morning. Now right now, 27 in Green Bay. We're at 28 in Kiwani, 22 up in Anago, and 25 in Iron Mountain. Add in those winds out of the west and northwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. And this is what it feels like with those wind chills. A lot of low to mid teens across the area, and you can expect it will get much cooler as we head to the overnight. Now here's a little stat for you. This is when we typically start to see our first temperatures below 10 degrees. The earliest we ever saw that in the season was October 25th back in 1887. The latest date we ever got below 10 degrees was January 11th of 1914. So on average, we see that first day below 10 degrees on December 2nd and tonight we are forecasting a overnight low of nine degrees here in Green Bay. So we could be four to five degrees early and for this time of the year for seeing those temperatures below 10 degrees. Now right now we have again some of that cloud cover across northern Wisconsin coming off of Lake Superior and some very heavy snow just to the east of Marquette. Some areas out this direction have picked up over a foot and a half of snowfall so far today. Winter storm warning still for the south shore of Lake Superior, including the Keweenaw Peninsula, where they have some winter weather advisories where they will see a good amount of snow through the overnight as well. High pressure keeps us quiet across our portion of the state uh, for tonight and really a pretty quiet forecast for your Friday as well. So looking at future cast, lake effect snow to the north. We see those clearing skies here after midnight. A sunny start to your Friday and then more clouds start to build in as we head into the afternoon ahead of our next storm system, which this round of future cast tries to bring in some light snow late Friday night into the early morning hours on Saturday. That then moves off to our east. Could see maybe a couple flurries across the north Saturday afternoon. Otherwise, we'll see cloudy skies and then another chance for some flurries on Sunday. So your forecast for tonight. Skies will start to clear a very cold night to expected. Look for low temperatures for many of us in the upper single digits, maybe a touch warmer right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. And then for your Friday, a sunny start and then afternoon cloud cover, high temperatures upper 20s to around 30. The seven day planner has a little warmer air making its way back into the area for the upcoming weekend. Highs upper 30s and then we cool down once again. Highs only in the mid 20s Monday and Tuesday. Right now Wednesday looking like another good chance for some light snow showers. If you want more of the forecast, you can find that on the Storm Team 5 weather app that is free on the App Store and on Google Play. Nine degrees. That's cold. And like I said, it's wow. about five weeks early compared to when we normally see that first single digit temperature reading. All right. We thank you, Chad. And we're back right after this. Stick with us.